Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Good morning, everyone. Right, so we're going to crack on with the ceiling this morning. Um, unfortunately, we need some screws, so we've got to go and get some screws first for the battens. Um, Alex didn't buy enough yesterday. Sorry. Uh, so, <laughs> so it's not a problem. We're just going to pick some more up from um, Brico in a little while. And um, we've got Duncan in as well. He's he's over there up the ladder at the moment. What, what he's doing is all the first fix of the plugs and the lighting. Uh, like I said yesterday, then we can put the insulation on and then the uh, board work. So we're going to go to Brico now, get some screws. Oh, we've got Mick in as well. He's out in the garden doing a bit more garden work. So we're going to go down Brico, get some screws, Janice, and yes, then what we're going to do? And start and crack on. OK, go <laughs> on then. <laughs> One switch. Yeah. Maybe golden in, uh, inside. <laughs> Something inside. Eighteen. Huh? Yeah, I only got this one. Huh? Yes. Uh, Oh, I ask him if you want if you have more in uh, depot. Eighteen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ask. Oh, yeah. More deal. Yes. Uh, bonjour. Je voulais uh, juste pour renseignement. Est-ce que vous avez plus ça dans le depot? Plus la longueur plus longue. Oui. Non, c'est t'as on veut plus. 80. Plus de 80 Oui. Si on peut avoir 4 ou 5, 80. Merci okay. beaucoup. Bonne journée à vous. Simon, this is not the same day. Look. No, look. Philippe. Philippe. Ça... Yeah. Merci, Merci beaucoup. Je vous souhaite une excellente journée. Au revoir. Alex, no one this. Look. This is how much. <laughs> Hello, Alex. Were you successful? Mm. Perfect. Good, good, good. Not one box. Okay, so we're back at the desk and um, I'm prepping all the uh, battens to go up. <laughs> Well, when we went to Brico just a minute ago, uh, well, we've just got back, so, uh, we picked up five boxes of screws. Unfortunately, they only had three boxes of the 80 mil ones, so we had to buy two boxes of 60. And as you can see, they're a lot smaller. So what I'm having to do is, to get over the problem, is where you see me drilling at an angle, these longer ones were fine at an angle, though we had plenty on there. Where, so these shorter ones, I'm going, in sh I'm going in straight down. And we've still got enough you know, clearance there to go in the beam. But if I put them at an angle, there won't be nothing there. So by, also by these being a lot shorter, we should be, still be able to get the drill in between the beams to fix them. So there's, you know, you've got, we've probably got that much coming out. So there's plenty. These beams are so hard that um, I'm sure if you went in sort of 10 mil, they'd not fall out. So. That's why if you're watching and you're thinking, why is he going in straight now when he told us he was going at an angle? That's why, so because we've got shorter screws. So just thought I'd explain that for you. With renovation, you have to adapt quite yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you've got to make do sometimes with what you can get. So that's what we've had to buy, purchase. So that's why I'm going in straight with these ones. So just thought I'd explain that to you. Because I know someone will pick it up and say, he was going in at an angle, now he's going in straight. So. That's why. Okay, 
Working hard or hardly working. They don't want you to stop, though, do they? That's the trouble, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, some work. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, Duncan. Morning, Alex. How are you doing, mate? You're all right. How are you? I'm good, mate. Long time no see. Yes, yeah. it's uh, been a long time since you've been on the channel. As well. It has, isn't it? Yeah, um, month, couple, oh, six weeks ago. I'm not sure. Yeah. There we go. But, Too know. long. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> what is it you've got on today? Um, we're putting all the cable in for uh, what we call in this the dining room. I'm not even sure of the yeah, briefing. I've, I've not been room. briefed on the location even. Look at that. Yeah, no. this is the dining, dining room. room. Yeah. Um, but it's quite an easy job, really. I mean, the walls are all studded and there's easy routes. Um, but as usual, see spec. There's quite a lot of actual uh, lighting points and power points to do, isn't there? Um, this is called first fix. First fix, yeah. It means really putting the cable to the positions ready for the man to plaster board or whatever. Um, then after the build is finished to whatever level, we decide either decorating or plastering, and I'll come back, put boxes in, and put sockets on, and um, if we're ready, make things work. Obviously. Cool. Um, so it's not too precise for me, really. I mean, try to do a reasonably neat job, but you know, it's not that exact what I'm doing at this level, really, because it's all going to get covered up anyway. You know, we're not yeah. going to be too too fussy for the sake of it. You know. But you but, uh, have a master plan, don't you? Yeah, the plan is on the wall, as drawn by Billy, I believe. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I, um, of which I have a copy. Um, so we're working to that. Well, we're virtually doing the same thing in here, really, aren't we? As, as the kitchen. Um, just without any kitchen supplies for special appliances or and no wall lights here is it no wall lights but otherwise it's virtually just doing another kitchen uh, rewiring it or wiring which is easy say, yeah. enough for you kind of bread and butter well yeah yeah because we're just throwing wires in from the positions I mean for the lights the wall lights we only really need a circuit for all of them back to the fuse box everything's going back to the fuse box that'll act as a junction box as well yeah so that fuse box is in this corner over here, is yeah, that correct? Yeah, we're going to have a look at that. that Can do, mate. Don't trip over there, Al. No, I'll try I've made dubious health and safety. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Right, it. so yeah, everything's coming back to here. Um, it's a massive box that Bill's put in. I don't, I'm not sure really that much, but there you go. You know, no problem having too much space, is there really? You can't complain of that. And I mean, the cost of the unit, I mean, you know, a unit that size against a unit that, there's probably like 20 euros in it. So there's not, you know, there's no Let's real, have more space. there's no expense really. Yeah, we're not throwing money away really, are we? Um, but yeah, so that's, yeah, everything's gonna come back to here. I've got the supplier from before. These are cables here that are existing from the hallway that we put in ages ago. I can't remember when that was now. Um, so we're probably, yeah, we're, we're gonna have about the same as that, not a lot. But also I'm gonna run cables from here to, is that all just gonna be called a library? Two levels, isn't it? But it's still, yeah, still library. library yeah. We're gonna feed the library from here as well. I don't know if Billy's talked to you about that, probably not. Um, but there's no point having another fuse box for, a, for another room, is there? I mean, this is vast, there's loads of rooms. So we'll do that from here as well. Um, the other thing, yeah, the fire alarms, they were going to be in here because we were having a separate little room here originally, weren't we? Um, yeah, there's going to be a I'm not sure reception. what reception for and toilets and blah, that's all gone now, isn't it? Yes. So now these are going to go, these came through the wall, they are going to go back through the wall and these ones from these rooms will go through the hole that's still there. So that's, that's not too hard, is it? We've and got to take a, a control panel yeah, on the other side. Fire of the alarm door. panel in the corridor where you'd expect to see it, really, isn't it? 
Perfect. So when you come in the building, go, oh, what's wrong? You know, if there's an alarm or something, you can see, Straight you know, away. if there's a fault or what's, you know, what's been going on with that. I think originally we were going to put it in here because it was out of the way, you know, it was, you could have this little in reception, reception it, it you know, sense, made more but sense, but now we're moving out. But yes, yeah, so it's not hard really, is it, for me? Um, and this, none of this has to work today, obviously, because I need uh, Simon to do all the balling after this. So, uh, so um, a fairly easy day for you? Well, yeah, I'll say so easy. I mean, it's simple in the head, but it's easy to do. Yeah, but there's lots of up and down of ladders, so it's um, physically, demanding. physically demanding, but yeah, but not no thinking required, so, you know. <laughs> You're the man for the job. Follow the drawing. Sure. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'll leave you to crack on. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Speak to you later. Good afternoon. Um, if, you can, if you look over here now, you can see where I've levered it all out. Um, it wants a bit more scraping here and there, but it mainly is where it should be. And what we want to do eventually and next week, next couple of weeks, is seed it. So when the grass grows up, we can just put the mower on it and just keep mowing it and keep it under control. But if we don't, you can see what happens. That was done the other week and it's all come up again. And you just can't stop it. But if you've got a mower, you can just take it down once a week. Yeah, keep it under control. Keep it under control. Yeah, Otherwise, just, it gets out of, um, you know, you just keep going back in there with the machine digger, wasting time, but if it's mowed, it looks nice too. Yeah, I mean at this stage, this is absolutely ideal to put the detector over. Yeah. Because it's nice flat, nice level, and there's no weeds and brook. Because before, if, if the people remember, there's brambles, weren't there, up here? It was horrendous. And you couldn't get a machine down anywhere near the surface. But like this, absolutely ideal. So it'll be nice when we uh, when we do get that out to go over it. Just uh, you know, just pan this area quickly and see. You know, obviously they would have the nuns would have worked here every year, most of the year round, wouldn't they? If it's a vegetable pot yeah. plot, so I imagine they'd lost a few things over the years. I just literally walked over there and found this piece of pottery here. And Alex can pick that up. I mean, it's really old. I mean, it's ha obviously handmade. You can see by the shape of it, it's not been turned on a on a potter's wheel or something stuck in there maybe some some of the viewers that are into their pottery will be able to recognize that and date it possibly for us so i think what we're going to do is we're going to wander across the garden now just have a quick look find some other spots as well you know that we can maybe tomorrow get ricked to do some streaming and clear for the detecting uh, rather than just stick in one area because there's obviously different parts of the garden which if some of you have seen some of you wouldn't have which you know they've gone to do prayers and various bits and pieces so we're gonna have a wander around we can walk and, uh, right through there now i'll clear that yeah mick's been kind enough to clear a big pathway all the way through uh, for us so we're gonna have a wander down there and see if we can find you know a couple more areas that might need you know just a little bit of strimming back so we can get close to the ground I think that's what we'll do now. We'll stick this down. We walk up through here to the middle yeah. of the trees. And we'll have a walk. And this will give us some scale of the amount of work that Mick's done out here as well. Yeah, that's Quite right. Deceiving. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah. Well, you couldn't see it before because it was just all so overgrown with old trees and brambles. Yeah, what I would do, to get this seeded, uh, back at the chateau, I've got a, 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 a rake that goes beyond the tractor. It's got tines on it, but that high, and it's about as four foot square. And I put it on the digger with a chain and go over it, and it loosens all the top surface up. And then they can put the seed in, and then we go back with a rake and rake it all in. And uh, it... It doesn't look that level now. When it's grassed, it's different all together. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be a tennis court, and I think, no, is no, it? So. No. so long as we can keep it, mow I'm it, keep it under Looking control. forward to getting the detector on this now, because this is absolutely perfect. Yeah. Today would have been an ideal day, because we've had a little bit of rain, and it's damp. Yeah, it's really and when, damp. Yeah, when you've got a bit of dampness, you, you get better conductivity through the soil. Not only that, you can dig it easier, yeah, too. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. And uh, yeah. we've got through this way, we can see what we've done up here as yeah, well. Yeah, let's see, let's have a look. Uh, a while ago, I mean, this is, we cleared it once, 
I'm going back a couple of years, wasn't it? I suppose. Yeah, when you first got it. I yeah. got it. But then it all just overgrew again, and I had to go through there with the machine, right up through to the top, and expose it all again. But yeah. I, I only think we, we didn't go right to the top at the bottom, we only went so far. Okay. But now I've gone right to the top, right to the, the end wall, the wall that runs between, um, that once belonged to the nunnery. Right. Uh, there's a I... big high wall goes across. And that's the end of this property. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've ever been down that far. No, you can see it now. I'll show yeah. you when we go up there. Let's, Let's have a look then. Yeah. And as you said, Mick, it does look like a tank has been through here. <laughs> up here it's worse. Nice little flowers in the shade. Yeah, they, I've got them all up there. See all them? I've got all the... I've got all the... Um, Pretty little things, isn't they? Yeah, they... Sure, it's tell me the name of them. And she might be yesterday. Someone I've got know. a load of them up there, they're flat, they're like a bulb. Oh, okay. And you put them in the ground and they just keep flowering. Yeah. This is where the nuns used to sit in the shade in the summer. You can imagine it, a hundred years ago. Yeah, less than that. Overgrown, completely overgrown it was through here. Wow. You can see, can't you, the sides where you ain't touched how high it was. Yeah. I mean, they're brambles are up that high, aren't they? Yeah. You're only doing a bit of foraging. I mean, you could, you could barely see this path before. Yanis's yeah, new house. Yeah. <laughs> I did the real garden. <laughs> you need a window in there, Jan. You need a swimming pool here. <laughs> you got one here? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I got one. Yeah. Swimming pool. Yeah. You got a bath ready to go? Ah. Bath, yeah. Home. But if you Shaker. go through there, you can see the wall. Right at the end. Didn't they cut a tree down here before, wouldn't they? Was it here? Yeah, right down the end. That's a quince tree. Got the quinces on it. Do with a quince? Yeah, you make jam out of it. Jelly. Oh. Quince jelly. My grandmother used to make it. We've got one in a chicken run up at uh, the no, chateau. They play football. Yes, of course. They have football team. Yeah? No, yeah. None, uh, yeah. yeah. None United. <laughs> <laughs> none United. None yeah. United. <laughs> These are, this is a fig tree. There's an abundance of them all over the place on there. In there, there's quite a lot in there. There's lots. Lots more than last year. Okay, so we're, going, we're just talking about metal detecting. <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute. Talking about metal detecting again. If you remember at the beginning of the year when I was over here, me and Billy come out and we done some detecting. It's very cold. And we found a little spot where I must have pulled 10 of them little medallion things, them little pendants out of. And it was just up there, at the beginning of this upper section here. This has got the, this is the section with them little round discs on the wall or concrete. We're going to have a look. We'll, we'll see them in a minute. We go round there and we'll have a look. It's easier for me to show you than uh, to try and explain what they are. One time. Right, One so time. here, where this is where we're going to uh, start streaming, because right at the base of them, that big thistle there, there's a hole, and that's where we found all the finds last time. So it'd be nice if we can clear that area to have a good, you know, good, good detect around there. For some reason, they all got buried there. Um, I don't know whether they... They've done them purposely, I see. Yeah, they've purposely probably buried them. Yeah. And before they went into that section, maybe to pray or whatever they've done in there. Um, they can't really get in there, so maybe we'll have to wait till tomorrow when Rick's cleared that. Well, I can push you a bit down if you want to. And then we can get in there. With your feet? You can do. Just have a quick look and then you see better then. Okay. Nick doesn't even need the digger, does he? No. 
here's the Sherman tank. I've gone down the hole. Yeah, you've gone down the hole. That's for the hole we made. What's the wheel? Yeah, this has grown up. I fell down the hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this, this was the area. And up here, this is what I was talking about, these cement circles with like a cross type symbol in there. And I believe there's several, isn't there? Mick? Yeah, all there's, the there's along all there. along. There's, a load, there's, there's quite a few of them as you go along. I'd imagine that this was, looking at the grass, it was probably a nice grassed area. Yeah. At some point kept, you know, well maintained for them to come and sit and say their prayers or whatever they said. Yeah, uh, it was quite holy for real, I should think. Yeah. But all these things on the wall, you know what I mean? Yeah. Different, what they call stations, aren't they? So what they are? Yeah. I so thought. for a game plan then for metal detecting later this week, we're going to get Rick to potentially clear this area first. Yeah, yeah if he could, yeah. Clean right through here. Absolutely, yeah. So that'll be good for tomorrow then? Yeah. So yeah, if we get Rick out here tomorrow with a strimmer and we'll clean yeah. it. Just so we can get, you know, down to the, to the sort of soil level. And then for the rest of this afternoon, what do we have planned? So the rest of this afternoon, me and Yanis are going to get back on the ceiling. We've done all the battens now, so we've finished all the battens. Um, so we've just got to cut the plasterboard, fix all the plasterboards up. I think there's about 10, 10 more rows, I think, to do. So we'll get as much as we can this afternoon. Um, and I'm going to do some more levelling with the machine. Yeah. Out there, that, uh, where yeah. I pulled loads of roots out that, to, yeah. that were in the way. Yeah, so that's our plan. Although it's really nice, so you could just sit here for the rest of the afternoon, couldn't you? Now the sun's <laughs> just started to come out, breaking through the nice clouds. Deck chair, yeah. It'd be nice, <laughs> wouldn't it? Awesome. Well, thank you very much. You want a nut, yeah? No yes. You want to eat that now? Oh, is it in there? Yeah. Well, it was. It was. <laughs> You've eaten it already, haven't you? <laughs> How do you eat it from I the outside? I broke my teeth for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> come on, let's go. <laughs> Thirty-three, Yanis. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the end of the day now. Me and Yanis have worked hard on the ceiling. I think we've got two and a half bays left, which we'll finish in the morning. But what we're going to do, as a lot of you have requested, is put this sound, um, sound detector, sound? Recorder. Sound recorder, that's it, uh, in a different place today. So we've selected a place um, which we believe possibly, I mean it may have something in there, we don't know. It's quite a sealed room, so we're going to go and put it in and when we get in there we'll explain to you what we believe this room was for, or, or used for. So, let's go again. Yes, let's just go just with other just things. Don't, you thought I was born yesterday, didn't you? I thought I know exactly what he was playing at then. <laughs> uh, no more time. Okay. This is good. Okay, so this room here, we believe, is where they put people to rest so that people could come in and visit them. Because when we go in, and I'll explain to you why we believe it was that room. So we go in. I know Billy doesn't agree with us. No. But do explain. Why do you think yeah, that is? Yeah, I mean, there's. There's nothing in here apart from a radiator. There's no plug sockets anywhere, anywhere around. So nothing was ever plugged in. So, you know, and if you look at the floor, we've got a, um, sort of like a, an oblong laid out there, which if you imagine somebody, you know, when they'd passed away, 
got wheeled in here so that when people come to pay their respects this would have been we think um, an ideal place for it so we're going to put the sound recorder in here there is a um, doorway there which i believe goes into where sadie's apartment is upstairs no not this one so this one has a whole separate apartment all oh, right okay and then Same. there's another door there yeah. with another room and another door this way which yeah. i believe went in to ryan's old apartment right there's okay. a hole in the wall anyway it's quite complicated this yeah. section of the convent to uh, orientate yourself but they do all link together somehow yeah yeah okay so we'll set the sound recorder up yes. on the window says it i mean this window doesn't leak i hope if it rains but it looks pretty dry doesn't no. it we'll put it on it's the good. side though yes I think you put it upside down, Yanis, as well, once you turn it on. And, it's and you've got error. Off the application. We will rejoin you after this well, technical... We've done this when I, when I tried it with Billy, it kept going into error. One minute. Let's have a look. Okay, right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, never work with technology or animals, I think they say. Although this one's a good one. Right, so is it going to work yeah, Let's see. Mm. Push it yes. now, let's see. Okay. Press. Press. You're go. good, perfect. Yes. That's it, it's upside working. down. And I believe that will start recording in two hours' time. Yeah. So we'll be gone by then. It's quarter to four now, where you can see it on there, so and it's picking up our voices. So you're finishing off the ceiling whilst I go and edit. That's yeah, great. yeah, we'll probably get another row in that'll leave two two more bays for tomorrow. We can do that in the morning first thing. Um, okay. Yes. So I think that's just about it. That wraps up today. Uh, another good productive day, and it's well yes. done. We've well, done well thank today. You and, you so much. and we've been in the garden and we yeah. had a look what we're, where we're gonna do some detecting. So what do we say to the ladies and gentlemen back home? Thank you for watching. See you on tomorrow. Okay. Thumbs up. Good man. <laughs> okay, come on then.